and welcome back to Polyglottish. This week I am giving language tips because I feel like there's never enough language tip videos. There's so many different learning styles, but let's get started. So the first tip I have, I learned from speaking Spanish, and the first tip is, is that it is better to speak slowly and clearly than quickly and kind of difficult to understand. Just do everything slowly and clearly before you start speeding things up. Because that'll come with time, but when you start cutting corners and making yourself more difficult to understand, you kind of lose the purpose of learning languages, which is being able to understand people and being easier to understand, so keep that in mind. Okay, two. Tip number two comes from me taking Spanish classes. Do not learn oddly specific vocabulary that you will not use in the beginning. So hear me out. I was in Spanish two, two years ago, and we were learning how to call a plumber in Spanish. Not even kidding. A plumber. When do you need a plumber? Never. And then I asked my teacher, I'm like, why are we learning how to call a plumber? And he goes, well, I had to do that in Costa Rica. And I'm like, well, that's one situation where you can learn the vocab on the fly, especially if you're fluent. So I don't get why we're learning that in the second year of Spanish. So make sure to keep, like, what I do is I'll just have conversations or listen to English conversations. Like, sit and just focus on what people say every day, like, for one day. And then think, okay, so what's useful, what's not useful? And sift through all of the conversations and start learning that vocab. Like, there are lists out out there that are like top 100 most common words, top 100 most common verbs, adjectives, nouns. Just look up a bunch of those lists if you really don't know what's useful and what's not. And just start there because when you learn oddly specific things like faucet, thunder, or you know what I mean? When you learn oddly specific words, you honestly kind of start losing interest in the language because you're not using it. Three. So if you feel lost and you feel like you just kind of lost the plot of your language or you're going through a book and now all of a sudden you're just in the book and you're like, I don't know what the heck's happening. Go back to your point of reference, the last thing you remember learning or just feel like you can explain relatively well and then work on from there. So this is important because a lot of people, like they learn, 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 they get really confused on one thing. And it's okay to be confused on one thing and maybe skip it if you don't feel like it's important. But if it is important, make sure you sit and take the time to learn it. But some people, they'll be like, oh, I don't really get this, oh, I'll skip it. But then it is something really important and it all builds on top of each other. Or two, they'll just skip a lot of things that everything that they don't get and then it'll all manifest itself and then you'll just be like, I shouldn't have done that. So make sure just to go back to your point of reference, make sure to have reviews um, every couple lessons just to make sure you're actually retaining stuff because it's different just to do a study for an hour and then remember it maybe for like two days. But when you actually have to sit and recall all the information, that's when it actually matters. So make sure you're able to do that before kind of moving on. Make sure you just feel comfortable and if you get lost, just go back to where you remember last. Number four, but pick an accent that you can find resources for A and B, one that is just kind of consistent. Like you will learn that accent start to finish. So this is not very important when you first start learning a language because everything's just mostly the basics unless you're learning like Arabic or Hindi where there are a bunch of different dialects where that would actually matter. So like if you want to learn Egyptian Arabic or Pakistani Arabic, different Arabics like or you know what I mean? So there's a couple languages where they do have key differences but very few. So like if I wanted to learn Spanish I could start for the first couple months learning Spain and Latin American Spanish. The differentiation really doesn't come when you actually, until you actually start speaking a lot and when you actually start doing audio input. You have to pick a consistent accent so then you're not confusing the people you're talking to. Also verb choices, that also matters, especially in Spanish. So if you're, say, speaking in Cuban, Cuban Spanish again, 
and you use a verb, but then you change your accent to another type of Spanish you could get misconstrued, complicated, you get the idea. But basically, pick an accent, stick with the accent, use audio um, from that accent, pick an accent that you're probably surrounded by. So like if you live in Texas, don't try and learn Puerto Rican Spanish. Learn Mexican Spanish. Learn what's there. Don't try and pick a weird accent. Like don't go to Maine and try and learn Spanish period because there's like no Latinos up there. But yeah, just don't pick weird accents. Basically, moral of the story, don't pick weird accents. Thanks for watching this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, do whatever you do, and I will see you Sunday. Bye!